Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to make a small update to the instruments class. So you remember in the class that we'd set up these properties of our class and then we had our representation and we had these two class methods, one that gets us a data frame of our instruments and one that gets us a list of our instrument objects as well. What we also need and what I forgot was we also need a way to actually access a particular instrument for a given pair name. And the way we'll do this as you're probably familiar by now is using an object where we have a key so for example, I've got hypothetically here an object called instrument dict for dictionary. And here you can see the object opening and then we have a key euro US dollar and the value would then be an instance of the euro US dollar class. So it would have the name, the display name and all that kind of stuff inside. And the way we could then use that dictionary is just to say our instrument is equal to the instrument dictionary and give whatever pair name we need. And that gives us then an instance of the class. To do that, we're going to write two class methods. The first one is going to be called at class method and def get instruments dict. So to make this dictionary, we're going to use something called dictionary comprehension in Python. And it looks a little bit complicated from the syntax, but it's actually quite simple. We need to make two lists. The first list we're going to make or going to get is actually our instruments list, which is the, what will be the values inside our dictionary. Remember, we've got the keys and the values. And we know we can do that already. So we'll type i underscore list is equal to CLS at so the class dot get instruments list. And the second thing we're going to need is an actual list of the keys. Now the keys will be the name property on each of the instance of the class. So we can use list comprehension to get ourselves a list of the keys. So we'll type i underscore keys is equal to, and then square brackets, x dot name for x in i list. So now we have a list of the objects we want in our final dictionary, and we have a list of the keys. And now Python comes with a very, very handy bit of syntax to build all this together. So we're going to type return to return our dictionary and then object brackets, curly braces, and then key colon V. So key and a value for key value in zip I underscore keys comma I underscore list. The only thing very strange here may be the zip function. You can have a look online what that is, but essentially you get two lists and zip will place the values at each index in the list as tuples into a new list. But for all intents and purposes, this just creates our dictionary. So to test this out, then we'll do a for key value in instruments dot get instruments dict dot items. And then we'll print the key and the value. So over in the console, just run this code and you can see that we've got, I can zoom out a little bit actually, maybe it's a bit easier. Okay, you can see, hopefully you can still see when I'm zoomed way out, but you can see that we've got the keys and then for each key, we've got a value. So one more function I'd like to write is just a simple function to get us a single instrument for a given name. So we're going to type at class method and then def get instrument by name. And here we'll take the arguments of the class and a pair name. And now we'll get our dictionary. So I'll just call this D is equal to CLS dot get instruments dict. And now we need to make sure that our pair actually exists in the dictionary. So the way we can do this is we can say if pair name in D, then we can return D square brackets pair name. Otherwise we'll return none. So let's just test this get instrument by name. So we'll type print uh, instrument dot get instrument by name. And here we can enter the euro US dollar. And what we should get then printed to the screen, if I haven't made any typing errors, is the de other details for that. And here you can see in the console, we get the euro US dollar. Good, so that was a bit of a digression because we needed to add those in because we're going to need them in the next video when we're going to test out a little bit one of the strategies. So thanks very much for watching and see you in the next video.